Arcus, 1513. I have used the Oris to explore the memories of an unknown survivor who comes from a world where, from what I can gather, a cult for the entity exists. It's not a surprise, or the first time I've seen such a thing, but the memories suggest she was a detective of sorts trying to prevent a cult sacrifice before she was snatched for the trials. I'm not sure what happened to her, and we'll have to explore the fog to unravel more. Arcus, 1672. I have culled imprints of a killer I have yet to observe. My best guess, judging by the nature of the crimes, is this brute is from Terra Dark. She lured men with love, robbed them of their savings, and fed them to her pigs. Lovely, efficient and resourceful. The impressions of the memory are as follows. He stands framed in the doorway with flowers, a stupid smile on his dumb face. He has no sense that his days are numbered. Lonely soul made the trip for a wife. He thinks he'll get everything for a ring, her land, her farm, her savings. Won't happen, won't go as planned, not as he planned anyway. It didn't for all the other lonely souls who answered her classified ad. She peers at his eyes and thrills at his ignorance. His long, dumb face, his false sense of superiority. He wrote her a poem, how sweet. She'll cram it down his throat when he's convulsing on the floor. She takes his poem and asks about his money. He has it with him, packed his savings in a bag and made the journey for a new start. He'll get more than he bargained for, way more, to the bank with his money, to the pigs with him. Arcus, 4902. Life is not life in this prison, and death is not an escape. It is merely the start of a new trial, and most survivors are aware they are caught in something they will never understand. Why this is all happening is no longer obvious to me. The truth is, I don't know what to believe anymore. The entity is not what it is or what I thought it was.